Hello, this is the Reverend Prophet Mark Stewart coming at you with another brand new YouTube release. Oh my God, the messages are enlightening, they're powerful, and I know many of you live on these messages. Watch and be blessed as the Lord minister to you through this great sermon coming at you in the name of Jesus. And remember, support our ministry. Watch and be blessed in Jesus' name. I, Prophet Mark Stewart, come to tell you God is about to bring you out <laughs> with a breakthrough. See, yeah. Now, now, everything perished. The heart lift up and start sailing and the more the water rises, the more it climbed. And it lifted on top the waters and begin to sail way above the mountains. That's a serious radio. The mountains are covered. Every living thing, the birds who thought they could fly to safety in a high place, they also died. The animals died. Everything, the Bible said, died. Rain falling, pelting like crazy. Non-stop. Everything. Everyone died. Lift them and say, everything died. Oh, hallelujah. Only Noah and his family and the animals in the ark was alive on top of the water. Oh, somebody praise God. I want you to just touch yourself and say, it pays to trust God. It pays to trust God. To walk in his will and to do what he tells you to do. He said, Noah, I want you to build an ark. And when he couldn't find anybody, he said, I want you to take the animals and take your family. Go in the ark, lock the door. You're going to soar. Oh, hallelujah. And when the waters and the floods rise, my God Almighty, and the earth drenched, and all hope of survival gone, Chapter 8 began by saying, But God remembered Noah. Jesus Christ. And that's what I love about how this begins. But God remembered Noah. Jesus. Jesus. I want to send you home upon the word there today. God has remembered you. You thought you were forgotten. You thought it was over. You thought you were not going to see hurt again. You thought you were not going to live life again. You thought it was done. But I come to prophesy and tell you in this church today, God has remembered you. Uh. And, and, and if God has remembered you, get ready because you're coming out. Uh, once God remembers you, he's coming to deliver you. He's coming to get you and he's going to bring you to safety. When nobody else remember you, when nobody else cared about you, when nobody else is there for you, God remembers you oh hallelujah oh hallelujah oh hallelujah somebody praise the name of jesus somebody praise god now now god remembered i just gotta get that to your spirit that if you ever forget about yourself or you think god has given up on you you're making a big mistake all the hell you've been through going through and getting ready to give up on it just remember god remembers you and it's not over he remembered the animals he remembered his family he remembered the livestock somebody praise the name of Jesus now and all the animals and the livestock were there with him in the heart and he sent the wind uh, on the earth and the waters receded somebody praise God lift your hand and say God can you send the wind to blow away my storm Lord can you just send a little wind 
to let the waters recede. Somebody to look over to your neighbor and say, the waters are receding. Ah, oh God, you don't hear me. Somebody praise God. And God lift his hands. And the floodgates of heaven closed up and the rain stopped falling. Lift your hand and say, neighbor, don't worry, look outside. It looks cloudy. But God is about to put a stop order on your disaster. Somebody praise God. I'm prophesying to somebody and the Bible said the water went down and after 40 days now now I opened a window somebody praise God that he had made in the ark lift your hand and say don't be afraid to open a window of opportunity in your life because you've been locked down and locked in for a long time and you feel like all hope was gone you have been closed up you've been shut in you can't look outside because you're trapped on the inside but God said to tell somebody it is alright to open a window because when you open a window you're opening an opportunity to see what's on the outside lift your hand and say it's alright to open a window some of you are just too afraid to step out in faith I didn't say open the door I said open a window because when you open a window you can now look out and see what's going on on the outside uh, somebody praise God so now I opened a window and he looked out and realized ah, that the storm is over and the rain of siege and the water is receding somebody praise God now the Bible Bible tells me that he sent out a raven and when he sent out the raven oh praise God ah the raven went out from him and keep flying back and forth until the water dried up from the earth there's something about the raven if you want to test what's happening out there it's good to send the raven first because if the raven goes out the raven is gonna look for some dead meat to eat and if the raven finds dead meat to eat then you're not gonna see that raven again notice the raven didn't come back because the raven goes search for something for itself you gotta first send out some people who you're not expecting to come back in your life when you're getting I, i'm gonna say that again when you're getting ready to come out you gotta first send out some ravens uh, you're not hearing me the dove came back but the raven keeps flying around to find something for itself you see some people are selfish they are around you as long as you can protect them but as soon as you let them out you really know who they are because they go fly around until they find a way for themselves and they're not coming back to get you or to tell you they're gone and leave you somebody praise God here that's why you got to get rid of some ravens out of your hawk ah, they'll name you down they're always hovering around you looking for something to pick up I feel like preaching to somebody here that's the raven and when the raven went it did not say it came back it just flew around and then it disappeared but now he sent out a dove now a dove is a different kind of animal a dove you can cherish a dove you can care for a dove loves and that's why whenever we talk about God we talk about flying on wings like a dove somebody praise God and the dove went out but if you notice this he sent out the dove to see if the waters have resided from the ground he sent out the raven to check the high places and the dove flew around uh, sorry the raven flew around until it could pick 
fish and find something to munch on. But when the dove went out, it is to check the ground because you're going to need a solid ground to walk on. And the dove flew around, but the dove came back in, lifting as a neighbor. Your raven won't come back, but your dove will come back. I feel the Holy Ghost. And so the dove came back and he had to take the dove back in by the hand. Oh, somebody praise God. The raven well wanted to go, but the dove, even when you send it out, is coming back. Because if you train the dove, the dove will love you as you love the dove. The dove will stay with you as you stay with the dove. You got to know who is your best friend from who is your worst enemy. When you're coming out, you got to know how to come out and who to come out with and who to send out. Am I making sense? Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. You got to have some people around you that have the spirit of the dove. They will always come back to inform Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. So the dove came back in and he knew something is rather wrong. The waters have not receded. Somebody praise God. And then he sent the dove again. He waited. Lift your hand as a neighbor. The blessing is coming. The breakthrough is coming. But sometimes you just got to wait a little while longer. Some people don't like to wait no more. But God is working it out perfect for you. Not that you're coming out. But you just got to wait. A little while longer. Are you prepared to wait? A little while longer. Am I talking to the church? Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise the Lord. So he waited again. And this time he sent the dove again. Back out to test the ground. And this time the dove returned. In the evening. And there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive leaf. Now watch the olive leaf. Can I ask the church the question? What does the olive leaf represent? Say olive oil. Huh? What does the olive branch represent? Life. Life. The sun, there's a tree growing, and the first tree that grew was the olive tree, which is life because the olive tree brings the olive oil, and the olive oil good for healing. Somebody said, My life is coming back. I can't find that church. I want to go on, man. Lift your hand and say, I'm about to be emancipated from mental slavery, from physical, emotional, every diabolical. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Lift your hand and say, My dove is coming back with an olive branch that means my life is coming back my possession is coming back my deliverance I feel like preaching but I can't fight. somebody praise God lift your hand and say he's coming back the ground has dried up because tree is growing and not just any tree but the olive when somebody extends an olive branch to you, they're saying peace. Amen? Your peace is coming. Uh-oh. I told you I came prophetic today. I say your peace is coming. Your joy is coming. Lift your hand and praise God. Lift your hand and praise God. Lift your hand and praise God. Praise Him. He waited seven more days, sent out the dove again, 
but this time it did not return to him why because the dove is now saying it is all right to come out if i come back yeah you will not come out there are times in life you got to let some people go because when they go they will create an opportunity for you to step out and for I'm preaching to somebody. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. So this time, when the dove don't come back, it means it's time for you to step out. Because if it's safe for the dove to stay out, it's your time to come out. Can I hear somebody here? I said, if it's safe for the dove to stay out, it is your time to come out. Somebody get ready. Somebody get ready. Somebody say, come out now. Are you ready to come out? The storm is over. Are you ready, church? So the Bible said he waited a little bit more till the ground dried up. Are you here with me? Then the Bible said, when now I realize that the ground is dry, he removed the covers from the ark. Can I tell somebody in this church who is listening to Mark Stewart, it is time to remove the covers. It is time to remove the sheet. It is time to bust your door. I don't know who I'm talking to. A care man is a church here. I said bust the covers. Oh, I got to make my devil light. It's too heavy. Somebody praise God, sister. Somebody say no more sheet. Take the covers off. Take the covers off. It's time for your break too. It's time. Can I somebody loose me? Somebody must have come here to wrap me. Take the covers off. It's time for your deliverance. Take the sheet off. Take the lid off. Lid off your praise. Take the lid off your worship. No man, nobody hold you down. No longer. It's time to bust out like be a jikite can I talk to 10 people take the covers take the covers off take your covers off you're coming out you're coming out look at some of you some of you still look, still look scared some of you still look afraid some of you still look worried I can't help somebody. Some of you still look like you're not ready for this yet. It's your time. Take the covers off. Somebody say, excuse me, neighbor. Let me remove the door. I open the window. I let out the dove. Now I'm going to open the door because it's my time. You're coming out with a breakthrough. The storm is over. Somebody get ready. Get ready. God is about to speak in your life again. God is about to show up one more time. Somebody remove the cover. Hallelujah. You've been covered up. In depression you've been covered up with oppression you've been covered up with poverty with sickness with pain with disappointments with hurt with problem so much that you feel helpless hopeless rejected dejected pushed back Push down. Can I preach it here? Can I preach it here? Somebody get ready. Take the covers off. It's your time to shine. It's your time to come out. He's coming to speak at the door. Open the door of opportunity. 
the storm is over now and you're still alive you almost die you should have died you could have died but God remember you and God mercy kept you somebody get ready take the covers off take the covers off the devil is a liar he should have killed you while he had the chance he can't kill you again God remember you and he has stopped the storm to bring you out with a breakthrough somebody get ready here remove the covers you're coming out It's over. It's over. It's over now. There's an opening. There's an opening. There's an opening. An open door. Are you not hearing me? Are you not hearing me? So the Bible said, now uh, remove the covers from the heart. Because the storm is over. Remove your covers. Take off the plywood. Take off the button down. I can't find it. Yeah. I can see the sunshine. Somewhere beyond the cloud. I can feel heaven. Let me go now. I'm coming down. He removed the covers mm, from the hawk. And then he saw that the surface of the ground was dry. You see, from the top of the hawk, <laughs> you can only see the hill, the mountain. Huh? But if you want to see the ground, you got to open the door. There's a door of opportunity waiting on somebody in this church for you to just open it. Lord God, Lord God, Lord Jesus. Lord God, Lord God. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I'm prophesying, I can't manage. Somebody praise God. Uh, and when he saw that uh, the earth was completely dry uh, he got ready uh, but then God showed up immediately uh, after he opened and looked out uh, and if he ever got scared uh, and was afraid uh, this is what the Lord said to Noah uh, now uh, come out come out of the ark you and your wives and your sons and their wives bring out Lord God somebody not hear me the Lord told him at the beginning I want you to go in I'm gonna lock the door and lock you in but God didn't tell him to open the door he opened the window he sent out the raven. The raven swim around and went about his business. He sent out the dove. The dove came back. He sent the dove again. And the dove said, come out. He opened the door. And then God showed up. Can I tell somebody? God's not going to open it for you. You got to open the door. And step out in faith. For you to see the glory. And if you don't feel like coming out. Here comes God. Can I preach? Come out. Is there anybody here? I'm closing this. The Lord said to tell you, come out. I can't find nobody. The Lord said to tell you, come out. Come out. Come. I'm going to try that again. I'm going to try that again. I don't know who I'm talking to. 
you're scared you're afraid well now God is speaking don't be afraid no more God said to tell somebody here your door is open your window is open the ground is dry your storm is over come out it's over the attack on your life the attack on your children the attack on your family the attack on your health it's over come out come out the Lord said now come out somebody worship the Lord somebody worship come out 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 where is your faith sit down again And the showers is falling. And the rain is falling. I got to tell somebody today. Your storm is over. You're coming out with a breakthrough. God told me to tell you. You can't stay in the heart no more. The heart was for you. While the storm was raging. But when the storm is over. You need to come out with a shout. Come out with a breakthrough. I'm going to do this again. At the count of three. When I say Lazarus. Come forth. I want you to shout up. Jump up. And declare. Because it looks like someone really tied them. Some of you really trapped. Look like chain upon you. Where one bust off of your mandible. What is this in mandible church? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm going to loose up this place here. I feel a spirit of heaviness that must be bust in a mandeville. I feel the Holy Ghost at the counter tree. I'm going to call you Lazarus because it looks like some of you are dead. I want to jump and shout I'm coming out in Jesus' name. One, two, three, Lazarus! Loose! 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 See there, see there. Rock or Satan. Yes! 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 Yes, yes, yes. Somebody holler. Somebody scream. Loose, 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 loose. Sakatara Bahai. Laba Sakatara Bosa. I feel the atmosphere changing. I feel a shift. Yes, sir. Loose. It's over. Somebody praise God. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. Sit down one more time. I'm closing. And the Bible said, the Lord said, now come out. Bring everybody with you. Bring every kind of living creature uh, that is with you in the hawk, uh, every animals and birds, uh, so that they can multiply, uh, be fruitful and replenish. Uh, so now, uh, so now, uh, so now, uh, came out. Did you hear what I just said? So now, uh, came out. So now, uh, came out. Is there anybody in the church ready to bust where? Ready to bust out at the count of seven. When I say Lazarus, I want you to shout, I am out in Jesus' name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shout! Out, 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 out. Out, 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 out. Out, 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 out. Out! 
out of your pain out of your heart here out of your sorrow out of your mess come out come out touch your body as a sickness I'm coming out I'm coming out yes yes worship woman worship yes push somebody push 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 yes sir yes sir let her go let her go yes 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 somebody worship it's over it's over it's over it's over it's over come out Clap your hands and love him. So now I came out together with his sons and his wife and all the animals moving around. Everything that moves on the lawn came out of the ark. If you come out, everyone around you is coming out with you. When you come out, you will be bringing others out. Somebody don't hear the preacher. I said, when you come out, others will be coming out behind you. Your children will be coming out behind you. Your generation will be coming out behind you. Your wife will be coming out behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your blessing will be coming out behind you. Lift your hand and say, I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out of poverty. I'm coming out of my misery. I'm coming out of bad relationship. I'm coming out of singleness. I'm coming out of loneliness. I'm coming out of depression. I'm coming out. Come out! The Lord told me to tell you, come out! There's a breakthrough waiting on you. Come out. Bust the covers off. <laughs> You want to hear God speak? Move by faith. Take action for your life. Don't sit around waiting and depending on people to move you. Nobody's going to move you. Everybody's using you and abusing you. Everybody using your wisdom, your knowledge. Everybody wants an opportunity out of you. When are you going to get the opportunity for yourself? Come out! Never again will there be a curse on you. Because God says, I will never curse. And who God has not cursed, no man can curse. Somebody now help me. Everybody lift your hands and say, never again. Never again. Take out your wallet and purse and say, never again. Will I be broke? Never again will I be hungry as long as there is seed time and harvest. I shall be blessed. I shall be delivered. The Lord declare a word. He prophesy a word. Never again as long as there is seed time and harvest cold and heat summer or winter day and night will never cease somebody lift your hand and say i shall not die but live and declare the word of the lord amen I'm leaving you. Lift your hands and never again will I be going through what I've been through. It's over. I'm coming out. 
never again will I feel those pain never again will I be so hurt never again will I suffer this suffering the devil is a liar somebody stamp that feet say never again the Lord said it I believe it as long as there is seed time and harvest I shall live out my days I'm not gonna die in the flood coronavirus me not care what Delta I could have Delta or JetBlue or American Airline or Caribbean Airline me not care what version you are fly down your in I shall not die Somebody now help me, Mark Stewart. I better have communion and send you home. I don't care how much people are dead and how much are hospitalized. I care about their soul. I do care about their life. But I will not be scared. I will not be so afraid to go and take no jobs. They could have bring 300,000 or 500,000 jobs. No, no, I'm going to my hand. Because as long as there is sea time and harvest, sun and rain, I shall not die. But live and declare the word of the Lord. Amen. Some of you don't believe me, Kai. Hold on. Hold on. Let me ask you one question. At the beginning of the message, what did I say at the beginning, starting? And I made sure to start from the ending of chapter 7. Everything and everybody died. What caused Noah to remain alive? He trusts God. God told him what to do. He did what God told him to do. And he came out alive with his family. Watch out. Warm to you. Warm to you. What am I going to learn for church? <laughs> Mr. Tufton, you could have get it from Mexico. You could have get it from England. America could have sent any amount him was sent. I'm going to trust God for my life. Because if God says live, I shall not die. If he says you're coming out, then I'll have a shout. I will not compromise my faith. Even if he doesn't come through. We want you to know Nebuchadnezzar. We will not bow. Trust God and live. I was in accident. Supposed to die. Four times. But the blood. And the angel of the Lord. And camped round about them that fear him to deliver them from all. God bless you. Hello there. I'm the Reverend Prophet Mark Stewart. That you've been watching, enjoying, and being blessed every time a new message comes up on your YouTube. I know many of you are locked waiting for the next broadcast, for the next release, for the next YouTube preaching. Oh, everywhere I go, all across the world, many people, we see the numbers rising and we know many of you are blessed by our sermons on YouTube. Here is what I want you to do in the midst of this pandemic. Do you know that so many of you are blessed, but yet we struggle as a ministry to cope, to pay our bills, to make things happen in this pandemic. I want you to talk with us. I want you to come on board with me 
all of you my partners who are watching and are being blessed on YouTube in this season by now to December I want every single one of you that have been blessed by our messages to plant a seed I want you if you don't have a ministry that you tithe into to tithe into this breakthrough ministry and support this prophetic work that is always coming at you in your bedroom some of you sleep on it some of you watch at your workplace every single day listen I want you to plant a seed it's coming up on your screen all the mediums that you can use click on one of them and use the opportunity to plant a seed in our ministry for our mission and for our ministry to continue so that in this time of great disaster we can keep coming at you with great and powerful messages come on board with me help me to stay on YouTube stay on television stay on radio and continue to do mission to the poor and the needy plant a seed in our ministry today and watch your life be blessed go ahead right now take that credit or debit card out click on one of the apps and use it plant a seed in the breakthrough deliverance ministries that is coming at you in Jesus name and of course I pronounce and declare a mighty move of God and a blessing on your life like never before right now in Jesus name go ahead and so as God bless you